Hi guys, Marcus here and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update October 6, 2020. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday and this is episode 291. Now because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, click CC for English subs. I create them myself. In this episode, Xiao Zhan turns 29 and What's Up Weibo features Yang Mi and Yang Yang. But first, here's what's recently premiered. The Moon Brightens For You is a costume drama starring Ellen Yu and Fair Seng and it premiered earlier today. It follows the Wuxia love story between the notorious playboy Ling Fang, played by Ellen Yu, and the naive but intelligent Zhan Qinghong, played by Fair Seng. The two share experiences, grow together, and eventually journey towards becoming leaders of the pugilistic world. Always awesome when we have another costume drama to add to our selection dilemmas. The Moon Brines for You is available on iq.com with English subs. Xiao Zhan marks his 29th birthday with an open letter to himself. It's been quite the year for Xiao Zhan. On top of all the obvious craziness that everyone is going through, he also had that AO3 incident that I'm sure blindsided him. It's like he woke up one morning and was like, what the heck just happened? But you know, everybody faces challenges in life. He's no different. And in my opinion, he and his team handled it quite well. Yesterday was his 29th birthday. To mark the occasion, he posted this picture of himself in a tank top and overalls, running on a street by the sea. He also posted an open letter to himself saying to keep passionate and to cherish every moment. He also thanked his parents for being his 24-hour safe haven. Lastly, he wished for himself and all of us to be the best versions of ourselves. Great advice that I think we should all heed. His studio also wished him happy birthday and posted these new pictures of him. His eyebrow length sort of mop top hair is his classic look, but I'm digging this new shorter do. It's for the latest drama he's filming. For now, I'm just gonna refer to it as Ace Force. It's a military drama with Johnny Huang, and it's being kept on the down low, so there isn't very much information on it for now. Anyway, it certainly looks like Xiao Zhan is back on track now. He's appearing at events, stage shows, and he's even filming dramas now. He's also in the recently premiered Heroes in Harm's Way. And he's back on the V-Linkage Top 10 Drama Actors list. So a happy belated birthday and all the best to him. Awakening Chang'an is an upcoming costume drama starring Cheng Yi and Zhang Yuxi and they wrapped filming a few weeks ago on September 14th. Here are the cast and crew on wrap day. They look like a fun group. Awakening Chang'an is set in the late Tang Dynasty, a time when the royal courts were ruled by powerful eunuchs. A new emperor, played by Cheng Yi, ascends the throne and leads a campaign to eradicate Qiu Shiliang, one of the most powerful eunuchs in Chinese history. He is helped by a prime minister's daughter, played by Zhang Yuxi. Her agenda is vengeance, as her clan was almost completely wiped out by the eunuchs. Cheng Yi seems to be hitting the costume dramas hard. Other than the super popular Love and Redemption, he also has the promise of Chang'an airing at the moment. By the way, Awakening Chang'an is just a literal translation of the Chinese title. At the moment, there's no official or working English title. Zhang Yuxi actually had a supporting role in Love and Redemption as Chu Linglong. Before that, she starred in Intense Love with Ryan Ding. The Awakening Chang'an production recently held a press conference and fans got a close-up look at the stars. It was a grand event at Hengtian World Studios with the red carpet and everything. The fans were in great spirits. But it looks like for some reason only the male cast were there. More updates on this drama as they provide them. And staying on costume dramas, here's an update on My Heroic Husband. My Heroic Husband is an upcoming costume drama starring Guo Qiling and Song Yi and they wrapped filming earlier today. Here are some of the cast and crew on Wrap Day. 
Production also released these production stills recently. I'm really liking the colors and the costumes in the pictures they've shared with us so far. It really brings back memories of Joy of Life. Of course, the stars of the show, Guo Qiling and Song Yi, play brother and sister in Joy of Life. In My Heroic Husband, they play husband and wife. The burning question about Joy of Life is when is the sequel coming? Season 1 was so good and it ended on a major cliffhanger. Well, the latest update on that is that unfortunately, there is no update at the moment. They were slated to begin filming at the end of the year, and the end of the year is fast approaching, and still no word of it. Rest assured, I will update you guys when I hear something. And now it's time for another segment of the fan favorite, What's Up Weibo. In What's Up Weibo, I update you guys on some of the recent stuff celebs have shared on their Weibo accounts. I know it can be hard for international fans to follow their favorite celebs on Weibo, so in this segment, I attempt to shed some light on that. Today, we begin with Del Raba. On September 29th, Del Raba shared this picture of her character, Chiao Jingjing, from her upcoming drama with Yang Yang, You Are My Glory. A day before that, September 28th, she shared this picture of her in a short wig. It was part of a spread she did for Rayleigh Fashion and Beauty. Next is Cao Li Ying. On September 28th, Li Ying shared her endorsement of Dior. It was for the release of Dior's 2021 Spring Summer Series happening the next day. Next is Yang Mi. On October 3rd, Yang Mi shared a black and white magazine cover she did with Johnny Bai. It was for Harper's Bazaar magazine, and the slogan read, Let passionate love be even more passionate. I'm not sure what the cover signifies, but the two stars were filming the medical drama Thank You Doctor before it was halted due to the pandemic. Is this a sign that they will pick up filming again soon? Hopefully so. On September 30th, Yang Mi shared a couple of pictures of her getting acupuncture in her head. Or on her scalp, I should say. And further back on September 28th, Yang Mi shared her endorsement for Calzadonia Italian Legwear. Next up is Deng Lun. On September 30th, Deng Lun shared a video of his endorsement of Corona. He recently became a spokesperson for the company in China. And further back on September 25th, Deng Lun shared this picture of himself next to his wax figure at Shanghai's Madame Tussauds. So which is the real Deng Lun? My guess is the one on the right. I visited Madame Tussauds a few years ago in Hong Kong. For the most part, those figures look extremely lifelike. Next is Yang Yang. On October 1st, Yang Yang shared these pictures taken behind the scenes of the pandemic drama With You. His message was, very honored to be with you. On September 30th, Yang Yang shared this picture of him with Dylan Wang and the boys on the variety TV show The Irresistible. He thanked them for the memories while filming the show. On the same day, he also shared this poster of the action movie Vanguard starring Jackie Chan. The movie hit theaters in China on September 30th, which reminds me I need to find out where to watch it in my neck of the woods. Next up is Vengo Gao. On October 4th, Vengo shared a poster of the drama Living Toward the Sun, in which he stars with Rulu Jiang. The drama is slated to premiere soon. Rumor has it October 11th. I will confirm that if it materializes. I've talked about this drama before. It's based on the true story of a writer who was diagnosed with cancer, a real tearjerker. Next is Vin Zhang. On September 28th, Vin shared pictures from the booting ceremony of his newest drama, Song of the Moon, in which he stars with Xu Lu. And a day before that, he shared this poster from Love is Sweet. He was showing his support for Liu Luo on the premiere of his drama. I guess they're friends. Next is Wang Yibo. Yesterday, Yibo shared this picture of him with a cardboard cutout of the word Chanel. It was his endorsement for the release of Chanel's upcoming 2021 Spring Summer Collection. And finally, to wrap up this segment, here's Xiao Zhan again. 
Like I mentioned earlier, he posted this picture of himself running by the sea and penned an open letter to himself. To be honest, celebs use this platform to showcase their endorsements quite a bit, but once in a while I'll find some valuable and entertaining nuggets and those are the ones that I get excited to share with you guys. And that's it for this episode, but before I let you guys go, I want to give virtual high fives to Rena Daniels and Violetta de Flores Font, who recently became patrons on my Patreon page. Thank you guys for your support. And thank you all for watching. This show would not be possible without your support. If you enjoyed it, do subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, check out my Patreon page where for a dollar more a month, I'll answer one of your questions at the end of one of my episodes. So stay safe and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health and happiness. Until next time, cheers!